All right, well, let me get started. For those who don't know me, my name is Meredith Oram. I am a fitness and nutrition consultant at Below the Fork, where I encourage women to love themselves towards healthy. I'm a certified group fitness instructor, and I will officially be a certified health coach in a couple weeks, which I'm really excited about. So today I wanna to talk about the difference between a lapse and a relapse. And I think the timing of this talk is perfect, being that we're just coming off a long holiday weekend, which is notorious for a lot of barbecues, Maybe you ate some food that you're, you don't generally eat, but you indulged a lot or you drank a lot or whatever you, your a lot was. Um, and, and I just wanna give you some grace today and, and kind of explain what some of the red flags may be versus what should just be, you know, not thought twice about and move on. So, a lapse. The perfect example would be Memorial Day. Uh, you ate more, maybe you went in there with a game plan and you were only going to indulge in the dip. I'll use that example I've been using uh, from last week. You were just gonna indulge in the dip and instead you also ended up having more chips than you wanted and maybe you had dessert too. And so you didn't strike that balance that you were hoping for that what your game plan was. However, on Tuesday morning, you ate super clean, you had an awesome lunch, you had a great dinner, all of your snacks were on point. Today, you're back at it too, you've been hydrating, you've been doing so well. We can look at Monday as a lapse. Some old behaviors snuck in, and guys, I'm truly talking about myself right now. Some old behaviors kind of snuck in, but you knew it at the time, and you changed right from there, and you're back where you've been. Super healthy, all's good, eating clean, on point with your workouts, you were aware of it in the moment, corrected it immediately, and moved on to, to your new normal. So that's a lapse. That's where we can give ourselves grace. That's where we can say, you know what, it was just a holiday, I was celebrating, things kinda got away from me a little bit, but I'm aware of it, and it didn't happen the next day, and I didn't go fully crazy on Memorial Day. It's certainly better than what I was doing before, but it's more than I would normally do on a regular healthy day, but I changed it the next day, all as well, so that's a lapse. A relapse is when you allow things to snowball. So maybe Monday, or actually let's take it back to Sunday, was another beautiful day. That's actually when we had our real Memorial Day celebration. Maybe on Sunday, you were indulging in all sorts of barbecue treats. And then Monday, the weather ended up being nice after all, so you went to another party and you indulged in all sorts of treats. And then Tuesday, yesterday, you're like, eh, what the hell, this week's already been ruined. We're going out for a pizza and ice cream and I'm not gonna work out because whatever. And then today, you're already like had some huge feast of a breakfast and now that it's snowballed, that's a relapse where your red flag really hasn't been alerted yet, that you're still kind of going down this old path of old bad behaviors. Um, that's a relapse. That's when you really need to uh, work on your self uh, awareness. And there's just, that doesn't mean you're a lost cause. I promise you, you're not a lost cause. It just means you have a little bit more work to do internally and in being able to identify when you're having those bad, letting those bad um, habits sneak back in. And you're just going with it and then continue on. And before you know it, it's been a week or two and you feel like hell, you're completely off your plan, you haven't been to the gym, you haven't been doing your workouts, you're not eating healthy, and now you feel, you might not actually be, but you might feel that you're back at square one. So that's a relapse. And really I'm coming on here to encourage you from both stance of it, but really more for the lapse of it, we can have these times, guys, and we can plan for it. So like I had my little lapse on, uh, it ended up being Sunday because we had our um, Memorial Day celebration that day, but like I had prepared all leading up to it the whole week. I've been hydrating so much. So I had that day, moved on, super healthy. Yesterday was like one of the best clean eating days I've had in a while. I feel awesome today. Still drinking all my water, like really on point. I'm having another repeat day. I'm all planned for that. And so that was a little lapse, no big deal. That's the beauty of 80-20. That was my 20%, who cares? It's not even a big deal whatsoever. Moving on, moving forward. Now, if I was continuing on with that, then we, we've, we've got some conversations to have and see why that's still happening and dig, digging deep again and figuring out what, what else is going on because it's not just about the party that got away from you. It wasn't just a situational thing. That's what the lapse is. If it's turning into more, there's more going on deeper under the surface and we still need to tackle those issues. So that's the difference between a lapse and a relapse. If you have any questions, my name is Meredith Warm. You can find me below the fork across all social media channels. And again, if I'm not following you, please send me an email or a tweet. I'm below the fork or Ms. Mayor Orm at
belowthefork.com. I hope you guys have an awesome day and we'll talk soon. Bye.